All right, guys, first stop before the card show, we gotta hit the Wisconsin Staple quick trip, get some cash. The jumbo, dude. Yeah, those things are something, man. Those things are are an odd. They're super like they're, they're more so miss, but like once in a while, like the football what? ones. Once in a while, you'll see like someone get, get like a. Time. So like those are a hit, but like these ones, uh, it depends what you want. I pull an auto out of one of the guys. Yeah, I don't want to see. That's the wrong people. Yeah, the people are fine, but you have to. Yeah, that's the one. No, I, I agree with you. You gotta do this. How's it going? Good. Well, how are you? Just, you know, these are kind of your bargain bins. Everything's kind of supposed to be like that 50% off. But it's going for it. Um, as you go down here, you got Pokemon, $5 bin, all sports. It's supposed to be organized, not really organized. Right. Anymore. We'll get through bin. it. I, 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 Little bargain uh, slabs here or what? Oh, a little bit of everything. Little I got everything. some higher end, I got some lower yeah. end. Yeah, a lot of them, obviously. They Colin sucks. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Childhood is wise. Right? Downtown. Well, now, uh, they're ex athletes. You know, now it's a whole different yeah, it's like, Back in those guys, those were real fighters. Right. Now these are athletes. What's the Devontae Graham going for? Uh, is that the one out of 95? Yeah. Yeah. I have a red, white, and blue. Is this my time off? Oh, look. You got red, white, and blue. I think you got this one, though. You got that one? Yeah. That's the only one you got, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see when it goes so how much do, do you know how much these are selling for now those they're staffords up, uh, i mean I, was, I got those i'm selling them for a guy i sold like three of them today how much are you, i'm how selling much them for a, for a psa so i had i had two psa nines in here and they're both crossovers they were both hda nine fives he paid the 150 bucks that one. And PSA gave him both nines. That's fun. So. Blaster and 185 on the mega. Yeah. How much would you take on the mosaic? Same price. That's all I got. Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another di video, another day in the sports car world, guys. Um, as you can see in the first portion of this video, hit up the uh, monthly card show this past weekend. Always uh, a fun time there. 
So um, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, just a little bit of footage that I got from it, a bunch of wax there. Always a different. I mean that for being a, a smaller card show, there's definitely um, a lot of variety there. You got vintage, you got new, you got Pokemon, all types of stuff there. So that's why I try to make it uh, there um, every month because just uh, you never know what you get when you go there. So, um, but yeah, went to that this past weekend. Uh, got there a little on the late side, unfortunately, um, but still had like two hours to spare. But I think this is with any card show that really like the last hour people start packing up. So if you get there, you gotta if you get there kind of later, you gotta you gotta do some work. So that's what I did. Uh, Try to hit it as hard as possible. Uh, walked away with some stuff. So I just wanted to share with you guys um, some of the pickups that I got there. And also some of the mail day stuff that I've gotten over the past couple, uh, probably a week or so as well. Um, so we will start with what I picked up at the show. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Um, if you guys like what you see on the other videos, hit the subscribe button. We're at 401 subscribers at the Salute to Hoops channel. 99 more to 500, and then it's 500 more to 1,000. So... Uh, we're working our way there guys. It's it's slow but steady, but I enjoy doing this So uh, if you could give me the uh, little subscribe there, I'd be greatly appreciative of that. So uh, Let's start with our a couple pickups here that we got uh, These were all a dollar piece. I uh, got a, a deal on them here though uh, a couple of Malik Monk uh, prisms here have himself a good good year for sure some Jarrett Allen prisms Couple of Hamadou Dialus. We got green, and I'm not too sure what this parallel is, but both uh, both both prisms. A little Josh Hart silver prism rookie card, and then Dante Divincenzo red, white, and blue prism. Trade deadline's coming. Don't know if uh, don't know if we'll see him in a Bucks jersey by the end of the season, but we will definitely see. But I think he's a pretty solid player. Might have worn might have worn out his welcome on the Bucks. Uh, they. I th for a minute, I thought he was going to be their starting point guard. Uh, but uh, then they signed Drew Holiday last year, and that kind of kind of ruined things for him. So I think we might be uh, might be seeing him in a different jersey. Uh, he also got injured, so on and so forth. So been a little rough patch for, for Dante. Uh, next, we got some older cards here. I picked up this Brandon Roy. Uh, this is a press proof, but this looks to be like... The first signs of like a mosaic card to me that's 2009 um a lot of people don't know about brandon roy but this guy was a straight killer when he was in the league but unfortunately his knee just did not hold up um but for the short time that he was in the league man brandon roy was definitely killing it this is his press proof uh, out of 100 so 64 out of 100 and uh, i just couldn't pass that up just because i remember how good he was when i was watching him in like uh in high school and stuff so had to get that. We got a little Derrick Rose action here. Draft snapshot. Huge Derrick Rose fan, so I couldn't pass up on that card. A little rookie action. I uh, picked up this AC Green Flawless uh, at a 99. Uh, I'm not a, a Lakers fan, nor am I an AC Green fan. Um, I do have like a, a solid like NBA, NBA mem card collection. So uh, it's like the fact that it was flawless and at a 99, and it's actually a game worn patch. So. I uh, believe is on some Lakers championship teams, but don't quote me on that. Like I said, I'm not by any means a, a Lakers fan, that's for sure. Uh, next up, uh, one of the cooler cards that I got, I found this Kirk Heinrich uh, Topps Finest rookie card uh, out of 999. It turns out that that season, or, sorry, that year, all these rookie cards that were signed were out of 999, so I don't think they were, uh, they had any anyone's lower than that. I mean, uh, LeBron James was not uh, was one of the signatures that was not available in this this set. So, uh, but once again, a huge Bulls fan. You guys all know that. And Kirk Heinrich actually really gave us some of the best years of his career on our those struggling Chicago Bulls teams. So, um, definitely, uh, definitely had a great. I think it was five dollars. I'm like, yeah, I'll take that all day. And then I picked up this Jerome Williams fast break auto. Uh, I have a couple of these fast break ones. He was also on the Chicago Bulls at one point back in like uh, probably like 2003, if I remember correctly. 
the junkyard dog. And then these, we got some Kobe Whites here that I picked up. Not bad at all. I think Kobe, I don't know if he'll be on the Bulls. I mean, we're struggling right now. We got a lot of injuries. I think had we not had all these injuries, I don't know if Kobe White would still be a Chicago Bull by the uh, the end of this trade deadline, to be honest with you. I think Ayo Dasumu is having having his way with uh, with that, that point guard position. So it just seems like Kobe White's kind of out of the mix. So I, that's just me. Uh also, okay, we did have this one as well that I picked up. This was a mail day one. And it's just a beautiful car that those optic silvers, man. Those are those are good get me. A couple Mo Bamba Silvers optics. Then we got I picked up this a uh, couple Devontae Grams. You guys saw the one that I picked up, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, this is listed for twenty bucks. I'm like, I'll give you fifteen for it. Like, it's a it's a PSA ten. Um, uh, I, I was happy to pay fifteen for that. Then we got this bad boy right here. This is the fast break purple, and this is out of ninety five. You guys saw this in the video. I was contemplating. I was contemplating on this one. He wanted a hundred bucks for it. I talked him down to eighty, and then I. It was early on in the show. I'm like, man, there's a lot more to see, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but I was like, screw it. I pulled the trigger on it. I think this is a beautiful card. It's out of 95 and, I mean, PSA 10. Not having the career, not having the year that I thought he was, but that's just the Pelicans are on the struggle bus, man. But I just thought this was a gorgeous card for sure. So a couple other ones that I picked up here. These are all from a mail day. Uh, that I got, I think, on uh, Twitter or Instagram or something. Just a couple of Jonathan Isaac Pr Prism PSA 9s. And then another Mo Bamba Silver Prism, also a PSA 9. Uh, not too much spent here at all. I think 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks. And then I also got this uh, Quinton Richardson. A lot, of, a lot of young guys don't know about Quinton Richardson, but man, one of my favorite players growing up for sure. Um, on that those Knicks teams with like Darius Miles and Lamar Odom and all uh, all those guys, so a little on card auto when he was at DePaul. Then we got Tony Delk here. I picked this up <laughs> randomly on Twitter too, uh, from uh, my boy Hive Cards. He has like a thread where he does like mystery relevant autos, uh, and then he'll have other stuff, weekly things. So picked up Tony Delk. Uh, this was just I don't I don't even know why I picked him up. Just a uh, journeyman NBA player, uh, silver uh, select, Tony Delk. So, Tony Delk, if you're watching this, I remember seeing you as a kid. He was a solid player, though. I remember that, especially for those Dallas Mavs teams. And that kind of concludes things, guys. Like, I just want to show you the update on what I got. A couple pickups, nothing too major at the card show. But um, it's fun to get out, especially in the wintertime in uh, in the Midwest. So it's kind of a, a like a dull time in the hobby in the Midwest because it's just so cold over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.